Yorkshire Terrier is a well-known pup, full of energy and loyal to their owner. However, as with all breeds, they aren't always right for everyone and every home. So if you're looking into getting a Yorkie, stick around as we'll be looking at a few different reasons why this particular breed may not be the right one for you. Welcome back to the Fenrir Yorkshire Terrier Show. It's great to have you here and if you're new, my name's Rachel. I'm the co-founder here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is here to help you raise wonderful pups of your own and to become perfect puppy parents to offer your dog a wonderful, healthy and fulfilled life. So to make sure you never miss a future video about our four-legged best friends, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. As with all pups, before getting one of your own, you should do plenty of research to make sure that you're a good match. A few of the top things to be aware of are the dog's temperament and personality, the training, their size, and also whether or not they are a family pup. So our first reason today is that Yorkies are very active little dogs who love to play with their owners. These terriers have a lot of energy, so being able to keep them active is super important in their daily routine. This doesn't mean that you have to take them on extremely long hikes, but it does mean making the time to play with them each day. Yorkshire Terriers tend to get bored pretty easily, so in order to avoid any sort of negative behavioural developments, as a Yorkie owner, you need to be able to provide the attention and playtime needed by this pup. They're also known for being quite yappy dogs, so be aware of this if you live in an apartment or similar setup, as this may get on your neighbour's nerves. Leading on from this, their need for attention is incredibly significant. Many dog breeds can suffer with separation anxiety if they are left on their own for too long, so it's extremely important to know if your pup may be prone to this. Yorkies are one of those breeds affected by this if left alone for long periods of time due to their need for a lot of love, attention, care and their playtime. So again, if you're someone who works really long hours, meaning that your Yorkie would be left alone for more than four to six hours at a time, you may want to look into another breed which doesn't require as much attention as this pup does. Typically, you shouldn't leave your Yorkie puppy for longer than two to three hours and an adult Yorkie for longer than four to six hours. If you're looking for a dog with a low maintenance grooming routine, then the Yorkie may not be a suitable breed for you. Although it may be pleasing to hear for pet owners that the Yorkshire Terrier barely sheds at all, it does mean that the dogs are completely reliant on their owner to keep their hair well groomed. Their hair will just keep growing if left alone, and it can even get up to two feet long. Most Yorkshire Terriers that compete in shows tend to have longer hair, but most pet owners keep their dog's hair well trimmed to stop them from tripping over or from getting food stuck in it. This is generally called the puppy cut. Regular brushing of their hair is really important as their fur is known to get easily matted and tangled, which, if left for too long, may cause the pup quite a bit of pain when trying to brush the knots out. This is definitely something to consider when deciding if a Yorkie is the one for you. And next reason why this pup may not be suitable for your home. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I just wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, I have a completely free course on the principles of canine behavior. As a canine behaviorist, I've put this together with my years of experience, skill set, and knowledge to help you understand all the areas of canine behavior that are important for you to become a high level canine leader. And then you can fix your dog's problem behaviors at home or maybe take the first steps into working with dogs with problem behaviors. So again, if you want to check out that course, it's completely free of charge. The principles of canine behavior, there'll be a link down in the description box below and I can't wait to see you over on that course. Is that Yorkies are very small dogs, meaning they can be at more risk of being accidentally trodden on. Due to their small size, it's very easy to not see them. And for a loyal dog that can become your shadow, this is something to be aware of. Yorkshire Terriers don't tend to be the best dog breed for a young family. Toddlers and children can sometimes be a bit too rough when playing. And for this delicate pup, it could end up getting hurt. Most breeders will not sell Yorkies to a family that has children below the age of five or six. So if you have young kids, be sure to consider whether or not getting a Yorkie would be suitable in your home. Also, if you already have other pets, it's important to know that with lots of socialisation at a young age, your Yorkie can get along with them, including cats. 
Yorkshire Terriers typically take a longer time to house train, which if you're not around a lot, could end up getting pretty messy. It can take from six months to a year before a Yorkie fully recognises their training. This requires a lot of hard work and commitment from you in order for them to understand where is right and where is wrong to go to the toilet. If you are not able to consistently keep up with this training, the New Yorkshire Terrier may not be the most suitable breed for your home. Being able to train these puppies takes patience and determination. So if you're up for the challenge, then this may be the pup for you. But if this fills you with dread, then maybe reconsider your breed of choice. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, then please hit that like button. And to make sure that you never miss a future video about our four-legged best friends, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Can't wait to speak to you again soon on the Fenrir Yorkshire Terrier Show.